fabulous people. It was honestly never my intention to make this video. And um, I wish I didn't have to make this video, but here we are. Everything was going so great. I was so excited to be back to Mykonos Island until I got to this place. This apartment in Mykonos is advertised on many different popular hosting websites that I'm sure you and I booked through many, many times. And also this agency has a website and they have apartments through many different Greek islands, including of course, Athens and Mykonos, etc. And I just want to raise the awareness to make sure that neither you nor any of your loved ones, family, friends, colleagues, whoever will ever rent through them. So please, please, please guys, make sure that you pass along this video, whoever is traveling to Greece. We need to stop this guys because the nightmare that I experienced staying at this place it just something that I've never ever experienced before in my life. And the vacation is obviously ruined, guys. I mean, I've done the best that I could considering the situation and I love Mykonos and of course, you know, you try to make the most out of the situation. But when I tell you guys what happened to me in this apartment, you will understand what I'm talking about. Honestly, guys, so much crap happened in this place that I hope that I'll be able to follow the storyline and just share with you everything that happened without forgetting any important details. So pretty much when we got to this place, the person who checked us in, he <laughs> was in and out of the place. He was in a rush. He said that he has other guests of another villa, apartment, whatever to check in. So he just opened the door let us in and that was it that was pretty much it the only thing that i had a chance to ask him i said as soon as he was out of the door i said excuse me um what's the password for the internet and he told me he said i'll give it to you i'll give it to you. i'll send it to you from the car i said okay sure so as soon as the door closed after him and you know you kind of start looking around trying to see uh what's where i noticed right away Besides the fact that the floors were so sticky, you know, when you even put your feet on it, it sticks to it. The layers of dust on every single thing, including the bathroom and the floors and just everything, everything was dusty. So then of course, on top of that, the refrigerator doors are not closing. As soon as you close them, they open. The same for the kitchen drawers, everything. Um, there are no handles on the on the things when you open them when you pull them the drawers there are no handles on um, pretty much any of them even in the bedroom okay guys i wish that was that was you know the the big the big issue of the place um the big issues are i'm getting there so i looked everywhere obviously you guys know july and august are two hottest months of the year pretty much in greece it's extremely hot i mean the temperatures are just outrageous so there is no need to tell you that aircon is a must is a must and of course this place is advertised with an air conditioning and wi-fi it says on every single website where they're advertising this place so I started looking for remotes to turn on aircon because it was 3 p.m. It was so hot, like you couldn't breathe inside the place. And guess what, guys? There are no remotes, neither in the living room nor in the bedroom. Zero. Not the worst of it. The, wor the worst is yet to come, guys. I waited about an hour to hear back from the person who checked us in because he's not the manager of the place. He is not the owner of the place. He represents the agency that I rented through. So I waited for an hour. I wanted to give him an hour. I thought, well, maybe he's checking someone in. Um, I'm, I'll give him the time. I'll give him space. So I waited for an hour and I texted him and I said, hey, uh, would you please send me the password for the internet? Thank you so much. 
to what he responds, check on the back of a router. I said, okay, that's strange. I haven't seen a router everywhere, but I went, I looked the entire place. I searched the entire place. There was nothing. And I sent him another message saying, I don't see the router anywhere. So that was at 6.26 p.m. At 10.20 p.m., he finally responds. And you know, guys, what he says? Have you found the router? And I said, no, I have not found the router. And I don't think the place has internet. I also sent a message to the management office, which they told me for anything, please contact us, please contact that person who checked you in. And they also gave me two other phone numbers, which I'll get to it, guys. So the person says, okay, no worries. Today I was busy. I'm going to come tomorrow to fix everything. So to describe to you guys the night we had with no air con, it was so extremely hot that I just felt like every pore in my body was just sweating. It was hot. It was humid. Then that was the only night where in Mykonos there was no wind. So there was nothing that was coming through the windows. And we also, because we had the windows open, we got bitten to pieces by mosquitoes. Guys, I still, I don't know if you can see it, I still have... I even got bitten on my eyelid, guys. All my arms, all my legs are all covered by mosquito bites. But that's fine, guys, because if you think that is the worst, the worst is yet to come. At 7 in the morning, I get a message from the same person telling me that his car broke and he cannot come today. So at that point, guys, I write again to the management office, which I have not received a reply to my first message. And I tell them, guys, this is unacceptable of what's happening here. The place is dirty. Nothing is working. We don't have remotes for aircon. There is no internet in the house, even though you advertise that it has aircon and internet it says on every single website that you are listing your apartment through we have no basic things and you guys know for me being a youtuber i have to have internet it's it's an essential for me i have to upload the videos i have to post them there is just so much goes into every single video it is hours and sometimes days of work just for five minute video so for me not to have internet that means my work just stops completely stops so after i have not received a reply to two other emails i send them a third one asking for a refund and after that, the person from the management office contacts me and says he's not authorized to give any kind of refunds, but he's going to call me back in an hour and see how we can resolve this. And he asked me for my phone number. So I gave him my phone number right away. That was at 10.40 a.m. that I send them my phone number. I wait and I wait and I wait. At 1.28 p.m., I sent them another message and I said, what happened? You said you're going to call me in one hour. At 1.49 p.m., the person from the office responds and says, hi, sorry, I tried to find the solution. Please use this login and password. Guys, no one even tried to call me. And the login and password that I was given, it's not even a login and password for this place. The place, as you and I already understood, does not have internet. They just purchased an internet plan outside and they gave me login and password for it. So they purchased a plan like it's Cosmo plan, which is kind of like, Vodafone or Liad or AT&T, 
this kind of thing that you can just get yourself this plan for a week or for a month. You can connect to it and that's fine, guys. That would have been fine. I don't care as long as it was working, but it wasn't, guys. I had no internet inside my house. The only place where this thing worked, but so slow that forget about uploading or downloading something. It would take me like a few minutes just to open a YouTube page. The only place where it worked was outside in one particular spot on the ground. So in order for me to do a still to this day, in order for me to do something on the internet, I have to walk outside, go around the building, sit on the ground, on the floor to be able to do something, guys. In this apartment, the internet is not working. There is no internet. It's not even connecting. It's not even connecting to that. Forget about just slow speed. It's not even, it cannot even find to what to connect to. But that, guys, still wasn't the worst of it. Guys, I honestly cannot believe that after everything, now I have to deal with no water in the place. Like, we can't take showers, we can't brush our teeth, we can't flush the toilet, we can't do anything. We're talking about water, an essential. And I'm gonna go try to talk to the custodian of this place because obviously the representatives of the company that I rented this place through are absolutely useless. I mean, we're not talking about like bad customer service. We're talking about the worst customer service I ever witnessed in my entire life. And you guys know I traveled everywhere. So, I mean, there's people, Guys, there's honestly something that that should be stopped and never happened to anyone who is traveling to Mykonos or Greece. Like, I need to stop these people, guys, because <laughs> this can ruin your entire vacation. All right, let me try to see. This is the custodian place, but it looks like he's not there. So let me see. Let me see where he can he can be right now. Like the place is a desert. There is no one who is renting from them. All these places, all these apartments are empty. I'm the only idiot who who rented from them. And I don't want you to repeat the same mistake. So he's saying we need to open this to see what's going on with our water. Guys, I mean, at what level are we arriving at this point? <laughs> All right, giving you guys an update on the situation. I'm a mess, guys, I'm a mess. I don't think I ever showed myself like this, but... <laughs> What can I do? I feel like I've been taken away every <laughs> necessity in a modern world, including Wi-Fi, water, and I just don't know what to do, guys. So pretty much a quick update for you is that after I showed you guys what's happening and everything, I contacted the management department for this place. They were, as always, the rudest people that I ever talked to. I am blown away by the lack of customer service that I received, by their rudeness and indifference towards my situation. So I talked to them. After some time a person who deals i guess with water in this area arrived the water was fixed i got a rude email from them saying that the water is fine and they don't understand what's the problem and i said that as you guys can see from the emails and i said the problem is that nothing is working in this place and i literally showed them i sent them a video of water not working and they said well why didn't you tell that to mechanic i guys 
there is not enough minutes for me and I don't even want to waste your time with this kind of details. It's beyond, be, just infuriating at this point. So after a few hours, we got back to our place. I didn't do a thing, honestly, I'm not even in the mood to do anything. And the water, again, is not working again guys and we don't know what to do anymore like i'm not contacting them anymore first of all because they're beyond rude and unprofessional and second of all they don't fix anything i don't see the point of contacting them i just don't see the point so whatever i need to do if i need to shower from the hose if i need to just wash my hair that way i'm kind of kicking myself for not washing my hair earlier when there was water for an hour or so because i thought okay the issue is fixed so now i am with unwashed hair i've been like this since i arrived to mykonos and i know men are watching this there you guys are like what's the big deal ladies you know what i mean it's just it's unacceptable you're in mykonos you want to look good and hello but it is what it is guys i'm gonna keep updating you and the reason again i didn't want this to turn into a video it was never my intention but i want to make sure that none of you ever none of you or your friends or your relatives or your colleagues unless you really don't like them end up in a situation that i am right now guys looks like i'm going to be taking a shower outside i mean i'm not kidding all right guys please erase everything that i just told you about me showering with hose um there is no water at all guys as you can tell now there is no water at all in the entire apartment complex so scratch that guys i guess i'm not going to be taking shower at all or or i'm gonna go back to my soviet union roots and I'm gonna buy a bunch of bottles of water, put them in the pot, warm them up, and take a shower that way. All right, guys, this is day two, and this is the progress. No idea to go to the bathroom, how to shower myself, at least in the most basic way. So guys, to give you an update, after two days, we finally got the water. Fingers crossed, because I still have a day and a half left here. And guys, this place, it's just, it's just the filthiest place that I ever stayed in. There's dust everywhere, dirty floors. Half of the things are broken and not working at all. There are no remotes for aircon. There is no internet. And you guys saw what happened to the water. The place itself, inside, you can see that things are just not working. The toilets are not flushing well. The refrigerator doors are not closing. And I can go on and on and on. Outside, the property is in a very poor condition as well. There are branches of trees everywhere on the ground. There are bags with some construction materials all over the place. There are tubes on the ground just laying around from other apartments. Guys, the place is just such a filthy mess. And by the way, I want to add that the custodian of this place is the nicest person that we met. So there is absolutely nothing against him. He is the person who tried to help us the most, even though he has nothing to do with us, with this apartment. That's not his job. He was the one who always tried to help to figure out the water situation, to call his management to see what they can do. So the custodian is amazing and he's constantly watering the flowers, doing everything outside. So this is just for the record. I have nothing but appreciation for this custodian. But the customer service, or should I say the lack of it, the ignorance, the rudeness, the lack of customer service that we received at this place is the worst that I've ever witnessed in my entire life. And when I called them and I actually told them this, I tried to talk to them and I said, 
at the end when they were not responding at all, when anything that I would say would be met with such ignorance, I said, guys, this is honestly the worst customer service I ever received. And you know what they said? She smirked on the phone and she said, oh, really? That was their response, guys. So I'm still here for a day and a half. I'm going to make the most of it. I've been making the most of it. I have more content to film for you guys. I have next steps of my trip to plan. As you guys know, this is my fifth month traveling Greece. And I love this journey so much, but you guys, I'm sure can imagine how much organization goes into planning every step of your way, all the logistics that go into this. So I have so much more to organize, to prepare, to get ready for. I hope guys that this video will make a difference. And I hope that these people will understand that this is not the way to treat people. This is not the way to be in a tourism industry, in customer service industry, and to treat your clients that way. And I truly hope you guys will never ever make this mistake. These people need to be taken out from every single popular website where they're advertising their places. They need to be stopped, guys. This needs to stop. And I hope that this video will make a difference. Sending you so much love, guys. Be safe, safe travels. Talk to you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.